And here are the beans. I shredded a little bit of ghost pepper cheese over all of them. And a little bit of pepper, a little bit of parsley, and that's it. And that's how I'm going to serve them. They look delicious and they taste just as good as they look. Thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe and share and thanks again. Hi guys. I'm going to be making some frijoles charros today. And um, I already have my pot going on the stove here. My water is on low. It's just warming up. But let me tell you my ingredients for this. I'm going to be using, for this recipe, I'm going to be using white beans instead of the traditional brown. But I have white beans, and this is a two pound bag. I have cilantro, I have onion, tomato, two jalapenos, one garlic clove, one bell pepper, and the meat that's going to be going in here today is chorizo sausage and also some ham hocks. Now, so you can see this. Here are the ham hocks, it's the pork, and this is the chorizo sausage. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up my veggies right now, get the beans inside my olla, and get that going. Um, my seasonings, I add to this because as we go, we add water since it's, you know, going. A tablespoon of garlic salt, pepper, and also onion powder. And as you add water to the pot until your beans are done, because you do that peri um, periodically, you're going to just taste as you go and then season. It's completely up to you how much you're going to put into it. So that's all I'm going to do right now, and then I'll show you guys the rest. All right, I've already added my beans to the pot. So the next thing, the next step I'm going to take is my ham hocks are going to go in with the beans from the beginning so they can cook all the way through. They're fully cooked already, but because it's pork, I like to let them cook with the beans. It gives it so much flavor. And then once they're done, you can just keep checking them. You take them out, shred them up, take all the meat off of them, and then add the meat back into the beans. Um, you can also put bacon if you'd like. You can add hot dog. I didn't put hot dog, um, but that's pretty much it. And it gives it a really, really good flavor. So right now with the beans in there and the ham hock sitting in there, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my veggies because the veggies are going to go into the, pan, into the pot, but they're going to go into the pot after the beans are fully cooked. I'm going to saute on my veggies in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil. And um, once the vegetables are cooked through and your beans are completely done, you're going to go ahead and add all your veggies into the pot with the meat and the cooked beans and your seasonings, everything just combined and it's gonna taste amazing. So let me go ahead and get to the cutting and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I already have everything chopped up and I diced it as small as I could. And here, I'm gonna take this closer to you so you can take a look. I have everything in here from my cilantro to my tomato, my bell peppers, my onion, there's garlic in there, and I have two jalapenos. So here's my skillet that I am gonna to toss all this in here right now and I'm gonna start sauteing y'all. And you're just gonna cook until all the veggies are cooked through. You can add the chorizo sausage to the veggies, but not until they're pretty much all done because these are already fully cooked, so they're last. You can even add them at the end completely. It's totally fine. So um, I am gonna throw all this in here. Make sure you get all that inside. Oh. And you're going to take one fourth teaspoon of garlic salt and cumin, onion powder, and pepper. And you're going to add that to your veggies. All right. And once you do that, you can go ahead and either add the chorizo in or not add it in. It's up to you. And then, like I said, just cook through until the veggies are translucent. And you're, when you're done making the veggies and cooking them, you're going to go ahead and just set them to the side and wait till your beans are completely done to add them. That's the last step. You're going to add the veggies with the chorizo sausage last. Um, once your beans are fully cooked and you see that the ham hocks are done or warmed enough for you to take them out and they'll literally fall apart once you start shredding them, go ahead and shred them all up really good and toss in all that meat and just let it keep cooking with the beans if they're not done. Once they're done, that's when we're gonna throw in our veggies. And when I do that, you guys will see. It'll taste really good. 
guys, I just wanted to come back to let you guys know that I have my veggies sauteing right here. And I went ahead and included the chorizo so it could cook with the vegetables. And it smelled bomb. I wish you guys could smell it still, and I say that every time. But yeah, it smells really good. My beans aren't going to be done for another while, so once I take my ham hock out so I could shred it, I'll show you guys how I do that also, so you guys could see me do that. And for now, I'm just going to set these aside and let them simmer. Or I'm sorry, not, obviously not simmer. I'm going to set them aside and just leave them there until my beans are done. And then I'll go ahead and add these later. But it smells great. Bye, guys. All right. Um, I brought you guys closer so you guys can see how the beans are looking. And as you can see, there's the ham hock in there. And then I have that chorizo sausage. I already obviously added on my sauteed veggies. And it smells delicious. And it looks wonderful. So I'm going to let this simmer for about another 30 to 40 minutes. And everything should be ready to eat.